All right, let's give this a shot. And I don't have any volume for some reason, so give me one second here. I think I know that. Should be coming through, maybe. I don't know why that's still in here, but all right. Actually, let's go get a truck. Oh, it doesn't even add that node in there. Alright, whatever. I don't think so anyways. Alright, I'm back. Okay. Give me one second here, guys. I'm gonna switch this up. Oh, that's what I messed up. There it is. Let's do this again. I'll see how long this lasts. I guess I didn't realize it, but I got a huge thunderstorm rolling in on me, so. And I'll turn that down some. You guys, sorry about that. Let me know on how the sound works and everything. If it's too loud, whatever. And I was kind of not fully prepared for this by any means, but I was waiting for mainly the live to start. So let me get my settings right on the new save. So none of this crap bothers me. We'll leave that on hard. Turn the field phones off. Nobody has time to pick up random rocks. Hello. Turn that down. All right. Save that once. And the main reason I was even going live here today was to be able to talk to you guys about the issues we're having with the map itself. So, I found a few issues also. For some reason, somehow on my save, it actually took away my cell points. Okay, so is that not going to allow me to delete it? Fair enough. But... All these cell points were gone. All I had was the fill points. And I didn't really even notice it, so I now have to go back through and play again to figure out to notice it. So, really, let's build a farm here. And uh, actually, I kind of want to go to the original side of the map, in case you guys don't remember, don't know. 
this was the 1x part of the map back in 19 that I played on quite a bit. So I think I'm going to run with this farm right here for right now. If you suggestions on like which lands for pastures and stuff to buy, I have no problem getting in some uh, money to do all that. And I'm also planning on doing some contracts here to test out the contracts and to see how all that goes. Now, I haven't even been on that side of the map, but yeah, we just got to hang a right out of here. I haven't been on the side of the map a whole lot. And as far as like the placeable dairy barns and stuff that you guys downloaded with the map, that will be getting taken care of. I got a lot of those triggers already cleaned up and taken care of. I got a few more that I got to run back through, like the clear areas and the level areas. That we will get out for the update and everything. And MB Farms is currently also working on other parts of the map for the update, so it should all be going pretty smoothly. Still getting used to driving this truck. It doesn't drive the same as the other ones, but alright, so this is one of the farms that I originally played on back in 19. And it isn't quite him as it was back then but pretty darn close so really I think we should be able to burn right into harvest let me see here oh yeah oats and uh, looks like soybeans so soybeans will be a while 123 is probably grass my guess for some reason the game shuts that off could be wrong but there's plenty of grass area and I also got a pasture here so that's beef pasture four so we'll go get a combine and get the uh, oats coming in so I can get the cows out there uh, well Let's just go with it. I'm not playing any particular type. We're just going to have fun. Thatchers. Okay. Um. I think I'm going to stick with that Demco. Forty foot would be fine. I don't know how well this combine is going to work out there. I'll probably have to get a small head for it. Probably should have made the auger smaller. But oh come on, Giants! We'll give a 41 foot a shot. And then if you hit C, it tells you exactly what trailer you need for it and what it would attach to while you're in store like that. So it picks up the right header trailer and you don't even have to guess about it. That is so nice. And of course. I got a double check my gear shifting and I always seem to have an issue finding that dang one I forgot about all the settings in here too there it is manual clutch direct and change manual okay so now the key binding is the other big thing
Wait, there's some vehicle driving up here. Right here. All right, now where is that? I guess I'll just use spacebar for now. That's annoying that my button is not working. What's up, Pleasant? Um, really, I just starting to set everything up again. Decided to go live with it and get into some contracts also. So I'll be buying the tools for. Actually, we could go accept the contract right now. I got rid of my stupid contract stuff, so we need a plow. Ball 86. Oops. Alright, I guess we're doing fertilizer too. I would use your Ford there, Pleasant, but it is small for right now. I'm going to get the bigger stuff to whiz through this quick. And to actually test the contracts. But don't worry, I got it on my actual save game. Oh, there's some lightning. Let's see if we lose power here later or not. That'll be cute. This should be good enough. I haven't even looked at his stagger here yet let's see what we all get okay so those are the big tires uh, eh thought about it but I want to keep it narrow does he have the blade attacher on this one no he doesn't not yet hopefully soon Oh yeah, we need weight. We're going to kick her. Power shifter. We're going power shift. Because why not? And I said what contract I accept for plowing was 86. For the hex eight field 86. Right there. Perfect. Straight across. And I didn't click buy on the tractor. Oh, wow. It's going to be one of these days. It's going to be sad. Not you. Come on now. Oh, that's why. So I did click it, but I didn't have enough money. Like I said, it's going to be one of those days. Probably should have just put this in already and been over with it, but we'll smack the heck out of that space bar, spam the crap out of it, and get up there. And then um, I was told some about some of the pastures uh, having trouble filling them with the G 
Gale uh, hammer mill. So I'll be trying that too once we get to that point. To see if the triggers are in the right spot or not. And see if I can't get them fixed also. Oh, I forgot to take the license plate off. Golly. Come on, Giants. We don't need license plate on everything because you got license plates on everything. Hold on a second. I gotta see if my comments are even coming through. I guess so. Alright. So I don't even think I'm going to run course play on it because it'll go actually pretty smooth. Another thing I forgot to switch on my settings was the days per season. I can always change that later. But I want to kick it up so next month I got a handful of days to actually mess with. So I don't lose the all of my crops. I thought I put GPS on it. I guess it didn't read, but okay. Come on, lower it. Or not. Dang key bindings. I messed them all up the other day, so. Tools. Oh yeah, that's right. I moved it actually. So that would be my bad. Let's see. I mean, uh, where is it at? One of them will change it. I just got to see which one is allow create fields. There it is. And... It's not quite perfect, but it's less blocky than it, what it was, and that's why the crops are out there like it is. So, it should be tuned around. Quite a bit different when you guys get the update. Be less blocky, less choppy, especially when you go to harvest or anything. It just uh the biggest issue was the file sizes weren't the right size yeah it played fine but this is just visual aspect of it and actually helps with your line spreading and all that stuff too because it all based off of your uh pixels and whatnot i think so it just smooths it up and you're turning and once we get the biggest most Pressing issues figured out on the. Oh, come on. I keep hitting the wrong button. Sorry about that, guys. But I'm gonna go like this. Oh, yeah, that's right. So come all the way down to the bottom. All wrong one again. Hmm. It's just, it's not a good day for right now. I want that. Yep, yep. All right, save controls. And then come up to create job. Works for me right now. And then usually what I do is go to the longest edge. So it should make it pretty smooth. 
open the mini HUD, nearest waypoint, perfect. All right, we'll see what happens. With I got to keep an eye on them, but I also got to keep uh, working on building up my farm here for you guys. So, and also figure out my key bindings. God, that's so annoying. Those need to go. Yeah, I don't know, Pleasant, if you use course play much or not, but I really, I really use course play like no other. I mean, it helps on a single player save because I'm not always around great internet when uh, I'm at work and everything, so I work out of town all week. <laughs> and this is mainly how I end up playing. But... Oh, that should be right. I don't know why my stupid... Uh, Oh, uh, what the heck am I trying to say? It's the farm sim button pad, the heavy equipment thing that they got from Logitech. That works really great with farm sim, but now it's just not even working on changing my directions like it should, so... Probably a setting I got in there. I'll just have to remember to reach over and hit the spacebar every time now. Turn this down before I forget and he goes all whack. And then there's one other setting in here. Hold it. Um, that's no, no, all right. We don't pay these guys. And auto drive will be going. All right, I think I know what I did wrong with my driving directions. So toggle. Change driving directions. That's what it was. Still nothing. Spacebar works, but not my actual side panel. So, uh, anybody have any suggestions? Nope. Okay. I'll live with it for now. Absolutely irritates me, but I'll live with it for now. So, probably not going to get much off of this field. I think we could run a smaller green kite if I find one that I want to use. I will take this one. I'm sticking with red right now. And we're going max. And smack the crap out of me. Space bar again. Uh, Chris, you didn't miss much. I'm just testing contracts and stuff. So as they come in, I had a couple different scripts in here. I don't know if you guys seen them. But uh, 
there's a bunch of different, or I want to say two different scripts out there for your contracts to like bring in more contracts and you could refresh contracts and all that stuff. And I got rid of that as of right now, just for the simple part of I'm trying to test everything on the map and see if it works with the updated files that I have. So that way I know if the, if the uh, update will cure all that stuff. Oh, this is only going to be 145. Where's the motor? Engine setup. Eh, 285 ain't bad. I don't know if that'll work though. What's this one through? Yep, this is the one we're going with. I want the front duels because we're in the hills. I'll take it. Front fenders, yes. Of course, quick hitch. Why not? Oh, geez, you can put a front loader on this? Yeah, no, we don't need that. And I would do run Tintig class, but I mean, honestly, it gets really dark. And I think my shaders, just the ing, uh, my graphic card shaders are in. So it might look a little different than your guys, but that's about it. Yeah, I'm going to, Chris, I'm going to run right through with the oats, and I'm taking these right to the cell points, and hopefully, oh, come on now, and hopefully with my contracts, I will be able to test all the cell points also, and possibly run down and see if I can't figure out what the actual issues are with them. Because I got nothing in the log with the cell points coming up as an issue. So that's like, that's what's the hardest part to do is I got to try to replicate the issues you guys are having. But the only issue I had personally with cell points is on my save, they disappeared. And I'm not sure when they disappeared, but they were gone. Okay, where are my buttons? That's fold and unfold. And not dropping straw, so let's drop some straw to test all that. And this field is actually way out there. Oh well. I think I'm just going to have to run it through this one because course play is going to act all goofy with it, but we'll get a decent amount and really it could go like this and snap her straight to zero. What button did I put for GPS? I can't even remember. That's the worst part about when you mess up your key bindings. I need to start remembering to save them so I can transfer them. Oh, GPS, where you at? Oh, that's toggle. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. And she's going to freak out like that. See, I kind of figured there's another script I got in that's like fixed cutter or something like that. I don't even know where I picked it up from. So the cutter kind of floats, but I'm already starting to feel it hang up. I knew I went too big for these fields. I'm probably going to have to just go back and get the smaller 
combine. Which sucks, but if I start to get hung up and everything, that's not going to work either. So, where's my map view? I think I set that wrong. I should have had that set at 90. Yep. So, we rotate. Oh, come on. And I should have put it on show lines so I can see. Which way they're going. Alright. So that was the biggest issue. Uh, go back to rotate 90. There we go. And it's way off, but it should ride pretty clean. So I need a different combine for the smaller fields. We are going to. This one. Standard auger should work, and I think it looks clean. The color options in black. Then grab a quick header for it, and I don't know if I want 25, 28. That's the one I wanted. And this is why, I mean, it somewhat works with that cutter attachment that I got. And like I said, I, I'll have to look through and see where I grabbed that one from. What is bringing up my start menu now? I have something going on. There's nothing in the log that I can see right now. Bear with me a second. That's just course play crap. We're starting to get up here. Oh, that's cute. I didn't know that Brent had that many issues. Wow. I don't even know where I got that Brent from, to tell you the truth. So, that's got to go. And I see the field is way too big here. Interesting. I'll let MB know that too. So that means course play won't even work over here. Honestly, this combine's not actually not working too bad. This is Customs uh, 250s series. I grabbed the smaller one. It's not getting hung up too bad right now with all the hills and everything, but. At the same time, who knows what's going to actually happen. Oh, what the heck. My bad, guys. It just uh, freaked out on me and kicked me out of the game for a bit. And for some reason, now iTunes wants to open. So give me a second. Get out of here. And as you can see, even with me like turning and everything, you can see how smooth the edges of the crops are compared to the blocky system. So that was the big fix with the files. That's the kind of stuff that the correct file size will help you with. Like I said, with the spreading the lime and everything too. I got to do that. I also got to get the chopper out and try the pickup for some grass. So I guess if I get the steering set pretty close to right, I could go by the mower. And I'm, I already know I'm buying this one. Diamond Tread. Yeah, buddy.
And to me, it looks like my combine is hung up on the fence. But that's okay. We'll get this right here. All right. And uh, I think let's let's check on that contract because I completely forgot about him. He's forty six percent done. So where is he at on the map? Okay, that would be why, because he was only gonna course play was only gonna do half that field to begin with. Then I got to get rid of that Brent Auger wagon because it has too many errors. Come back up here. I want the Wilson Green. Where'd that big one go? This one. Don't ask me why, but I really like it. Ah, my damn key bindings. What the heck? Okay, that's interesting. Like I said, I should have uh, waited a bit longer and got all this stuff sorted out. But I bet by the time I save and come back into it, it will be just fine. And volume of the game needs to go up a bit. There it is. So that means that Cummins pickup I got is volume needs to go down on it itself actually I gotta remember to save some of this some of these oats so I can make uh, mineral feed and TMI right away because I'm gonna test this pasture over here since I've never played on it yet also and um, I got to look back through my comments on some of my other videos and see which pastures they said they were having what issues with. I think it's this one. And I'm tired of doing the loan, so we're just going to eat it right up. Bam, done. I'm just going to finish this bottom little area here. I'm only half full. Should be able to get it all to fit in the combine. That way I can go back and get the semi and auger wagon bought. We'll see how that works. Alright. There's the semi. Uh, where's that Pete? There it is. Good with it. We're, yeah, I gotta slap my logo on it. Because why not? And black chrome.
right, so that came through as 50% done on the contract, so that side of it sounds pretty decent. I'll have to get over there and move them to the other part too. And I said I needed an auger wagon, so. Eh, I think I'm gonna run over to McKenzie's. Yeah, let's see here. That one might prove to be too big for the hills. I bet this one still is, but well, there's no options for that. All right. Thought that was the same issue that from all the other mods that Giants said they were gonna fix that messed up a lot of other things. So. What the heck? One of my buttons are like halfway smashed. So that's my usual one. Key bindings. I don't know. It's annoying me. I'll fix it later. Oh man, I don't even know what I'm going to end up doing when I got a tiny little 28 foot head. <laughs> this 41 is working just fine. And come back up here to the lands. Because I'm pretty sure there's a pasture here. Nope. Oh yeah. Yeah, there is. That's the pasture I need to look at and figure out. I swear to God, it was 98. Field 98. Um, I'm going to scroll through on my phone and double check if that was the pasture I needed to do. Yep, it was next to field 98, and why is that constantly going on? Well, it's only when I turn so far, too. Uh, 
I'll be grumpy if there's a update out there for my steering wheel pedals and gamepad. So I'll just annoy the crap out of me that I gotta update that. And then, um, actually, And you're done. Yeah. Come on, lower the dang tool. Unresponsive game. I'll probably have to run back through. I did also hear that they changed, Giants changed the contracts around on field. So you actually have to get more crap to the sell point before it's completed. And then also be less plowing, I want to say, was less. I could be wrong. But because of the waterways that are here, I'll probably have to do this myself, but we're going to give a shot here. Let's see if it will even pick up on it. Uh, I don't think that. But I got a little trick. If it works, because I should own the land with the contract. And when construction decides to pull up. Now, of course, play shouldn't register that. Shouldn't and will are two different things. And now I just broke my game. There we go. Boom. Really, I should have just bought the bigger one. I think I had a 50 foot plow in here, but whatever. Sweet. Just crank it right around. Pop a wheelie. You'll be fine. Alright, course play is going on that. Right, I bought the power shift. All right, that's gotta get taken. Can't handle it anymore, guys. I gotta get my change direction back. Okay, so it's somewhere in here, toggle steering, 
toggle cruise control. That's supposed to be it. I don't know. Wait, I think I do know. That's why. back up here and get rid of that ah about time now we're golden now I'm back to my normal and this tractor is not set up for power shift correctly you have to with the uh, when you got your shifting set to manual with clutch, you still got to hit the clutch to shift this tractor. So that's what I'm talking about. We'll send him on his way. Turning speed needs to be turned down because of that. Then. I don't know if this one's going to blow your guys' eardrums or not. I think I got the... Uh, why can't I shift now? Okay. What changed on this? You stupid game. Uh, I don't even know why I play this sometimes. Oh, come on. What? Seriously, what's the issue now? It shouldn't be the key bindings because I have all them set up. Okay, let me test one thing because one side of this is actually for the front loader part of it. Okay, so now I got that set right. Let's go back to gamepad. Gear shift up. Gear shift down. All right, now we're golden. Now we're going to rip. Now let's see if I got my steering sensitivity back to where it was supposed to be, and no. That update that Giant sent out changed a few things on the way you set up your steering wheels and all that. And I think they even adjusted it, so I might have to go back to either my sensitivity or turn my dead zone down just a little bit more. 
so I shouldn't say down, but turn my dead zone up just a little bit more because uh, because uh, with my dead zone the way it is, wrong button, come back here. But my dead zone the way it is, it actually is too tight, so I get going back and forth side to side too much. Now where's the open cover? This is gonna be cute. There it is. Oh, it would have been eight originally. We're gonna get rid of that. Doesn't work anyways. We're gonna go to that button, because, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. So which one? 17. And 17. Delete. Now that should be... Whatever. Like I said, I should have just taken a little bit more time and figured out all my control bindings for you guys before I started the stream. But this time around, I will be able to go and test some cell points, so I'll get them taken care of. And it's because I didn't let auto drive finish. So now I all. Come on. I need to pull it together here. I just need to reset it because the auto drive messed it up. So now I should be able to go max speed. There we go. Okay, the RPMs need to be changed on this tractor also. So, I have everything there, Fleet Speed Mill, Hilltop Screen, and Premier Co-op, that all accept wheat. And we got oats right now, so we'll do oats first, then I'll find another field with some wheat and barley. And are you guys having any issues, like, in particular with the cell points on exactly, what I'm asking is, what exactly are you using? What are you trying to sell? So I can try to replicate what you're doing. And Giants have the guy way too big in this game. So he couldn't even fit through a little gap like that. Like, whatever. 
Chris, I don't know when the update will be out. I'm talking to MB about it, and we would like to get it perfect as much as we can before we send the update out because we don't want the same thing happening again. You guys will have to start a new save because of the resize and the files and everything. So if we do one update and have everything taken care of, it's worth the wait then. About the only thing, I mean, I personally tried it after I rescaled the files. And some of the files or XMLs from my previous save came over no problem. And I forgot a few of the others. But you can't... You can't uh, bring everything over. So you, your best bet is to play till winter. And then bring like your vehicles, your bales, your animals, the lands you own, that type of stuff over from your previous save. Otherwise, you'll have a big mess if you try to bring all the fields and the where your crops are and what's harvested, what's plowed and all that. Those files are saved by the game in your save game files. And you're also going to lose your... Um, any landscaping you did so with the needing a new save game we want to make sure it's perfect before it goes out what sell point did you have to buy tried to sell oats at the sell point you have to buy is that the top left one what the heck Alright, so Chris, you talking about the one up here in the top left corner for the co-op? This big chunk of land. Oh my god, I even forgot to change my computer or my key binding to my change view button. Joyful. And why the heck is that happening? Um, AH trucking 
So you're talking about the mega dairy operation down there? Some, uh, actually, age. I don't know. That should be taken care of. You should be able to put straw in. Unless they brought over the pasture part of it. For those buildings. I'm going to get GPS going here once. I know there's short rows, but I can't figure out why it's constantly doing that. Okay, that was not the right button. So that means we'll just go like this. I'm just going to have to turn my menu button off in the key bindings in order to get rid of that. No, wrong button again. That was the GPS one. Oh, wow. Alright, now I'll let that set. Give me a second. Gamepad. Where would the menu be? Because there's something going crappy on my wheel that... No, don't do that. Whatever. It's an epic fail of a day right now. Yeah, no kidding. If I can't use it, then why is she even showing up? Whatever. I swear to God, they messed with something on their key bindings. That royally... Messed me up also. I should have made an auto drive course for that auger wagon, but. Alright, so now. Oh, cute. Oh, he made it pretty far. So the contract is 78% done. I think I'm just going to get it up there and finish it. I think it needs to be like to 98 There's field 86. Anybody else have any 
other issues with uh, the cell points at all. Come on. One last one. I just got to figure out where the change camera is. Should have it right there, but uh, da -da -da -da, it's actually toggle camera, ain't it? Actually, there it is, so... Uh, of plowing I don't think we're going to have any issues with it because we're already at 86% for how much we got left and I don't have create fields turned on which I don't know if it would even register that I'd plow out that waterway but I think we're pretty good Oh my god, my buttons are so messed up. Alright. I should have left that field leasing script in. That would have been nice to have. Could have leased a couple fields. And it was actually really nice because it's not just leasing uh, farmland. You could actually lease the individual field if you wanted to. It works. From what I was looking at it and messed around with the short little bit, it worked a lot better than what it did back in 19. I mean, we're at 89% already, so. Is that all the farther it's going to go then? Alright, good. So it's still climbing, still counting. I'll just jump over here and get the full width. Oh boy. 
been a while since I've actually sat into a, or sat in a case. They've came a long ways. All touch screens and digital readouts and whatnot. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. At least the mirrors are set up pretty good on this one. You could actually use them. I need to go into my additional game settings and smooth out my camera rotation. Because my mouse is set to about 24. Alright, so... Where the heck did I see that? Okay. Oh, whoa, that's weird. Are you kidding me? So we hit on a side angle. I haven't messed with the additional game setting stuff ever. So that's all new to me. It actually holds it so you're somewhat level with the terrain on a side hill rather than like Giants does and make you stay straight up. That's pretty neat. Probably not wide enough. Alright, where's the, we're at 99%. Hmm. Did we gotta take it to 100%? So they lowered the scale then? contract finished so now it's completed and I'm able to collect it fair enough and I need to fertilize field 133 and where the heck did that be 133 Alright, so I'll get all my stuff rounded up for that because then I can test all the co-op fill points and everything. But first, I actually want to test my cell points here. So, even if I got to cheat, er, cheat some green in, I will. And we'll start testing that crap. But I'm actually liking the save a lot for right now. It's not really the way I was planning on playing Westby. I was planning on keeping my other two episodes going there on that save, but if it proves to be to the point where nothing works, then yeah, I'm just gonna keep this one alive. A little bigger setup. And Actually, the farm I bought over here, I can run with those barns. I don't know everything about the map, so don't quote me on it. I don't know if there's actually two cow barns over there or not. It'd be awesome if that barn was... Well, no, that barn might be tied into the pasture. What the heck? I might have to back out of the game and come back in if it keeps proving to be that point or that big of an issue with my wheel and everything. Alright, so. 
you guys are saying the sell points, and this is one hilltop greens. And we're going to come over here once I get my truck to stop. And you see hilltop greens for oats. So let's just do this because I want to see how well this semi works. I really haven't got to test it on any good hills, so this will be also a test for that. And let's put weed in there. Let's do barley in the middle one. And then I'm going to finish filling the back one with oats. And double check. Barley is also hilltops. Same way with wheat. And then where the heck's that? Oh, this one over here. Alright, at least get up to the hilltop greens. And we'll test that one here real quick. And see, I'll probably have to change my screen so you guys can see what I mess around with on the outside of the game. And my guess would be that I'd have to, anything I edit for them would have to be, I'll have to restart the game. I don't think I'll have to restart the save. Oh boy. I hope I got the right gear. Alright, we're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. We're good. good brake force on it all too so that's a plus and then let's see if we can't get across the road without getting smacked by a car got to remember I mean the map hasn't even been out for that long I got to remember where I'm all going on my personal save that I had going I was uh, pretty much over in that little corner and that was it oh yeah this truck's got nothing but power it's got nothing to worry about so this is Hilltop. Let's take a quick look. It's supposed to have the trigger and everything right there. Let's see if it even brings it up. Dip side is front. You hit wheat. Uh, I mean, Chris, are you still around? Because it would be great to know if this is the one you're talking about. Because it accepted wheat. Now it accepts barley. And now it accepts oat. So the only... I'm just trying to double check everything because the feed store, hammer mill, that would be. Well, why does that all say buying instead of selling? Unless that means they're buying the product from you and not selling anything. Okay, I see how the game reads that. So now we need to go to the 
actually we could hit the feed mill right on the way because this is that down here feed stores what is this come on go away that's bales okay and that's the premiere so we're gonna fly over to here feed store bale sales that's the gas station all right so once again tipper get wheat barley and I know on my personal experience I had to run a couple days in game before I had any issues with the cell points as in they're disappearing but that's the hardest and then information we need to know in order to fix things is like how many days were you on your save in game and then what crazy mods might you guys have a lot of those gameplay mods from the even the in-game mod hub cause issues unknown to many people because you could start throwing a bunch of different mods together that even the mod creators don't even test with and then giants they test the mod and they go well yep that works but we didn't test say the contract mod with course play course play is not out to them yet you know so if you guys run course play or even auto drive or any of those scripts that could be a huge issue too and then oh boy get up here far enough so I don't stall it out okay so uh, I'm going to yeah we'll just run this way hopefully no cars will take us out that one was close I think I know where I'm going up here. There's another little jog that runs down to the right to get back by the store. Thanks, Mark. Uh, this is actually Farmstrong Modding's truck from 19 that I converted over. And I have actually sent it back to him. So he's been working on it and adding a bunch of new things to it. And I know he's got a, a huge work in progress list, so it might be a bit before it comes out, but it's definitely worth the wait. Highlight the feed store, tag place, it'll drop a green marker, green markers there, open the doors, that's our sell point. I don't know if this will even fit in there. Uh, actually, I was told to test the hammer mill here, too, so give me one second. We're going to see what happens. Maybe the hammer mill needs to be bought with the farmland, so...
I forgot to put that back to the front. Does this one actually need to be bought with farmland, guys? So you get a bunch of little spots. That's the zero dollars. And I did not own that. What land? It should show me. Yeah, so I did not have to own the hilltop ground. But do I have to own this one? In order to use it? Oh, golly. I didn't pull the semi far enough ahead. So that says the hammer mill. That would be the hammer mill there. So did they get the triggers backwards? No, that's just the production point. So you guys see the production point. Right. Mm. I'll have to look into that hammer mill part of it because it should put out the mineral feed. But anyways, I bought the ground. Got any crazy errors popping up? Okay. So I should be in the trigger here. It looks like it's high enough. Make sure I got Alright, so what am I doing? Come on now. That's corn dryer. That's what when I wanted feed store sales. Let me put my truck in neutral and I'll switch you guys over to my other screen here. Now, that's the other issue is I gotta figure out which one's which. That's Hilltop Greens. That one worked out perfect. And here's what you guys can sell. So, I mean, not everything's gonna sell. Not all the crops are gonna sell. But let me go back into. these and figure out where the all these are so here's the feed store and actually why does it even say it's accepting that because the feed store is for eggs wool milk tomatoes lettuce strawberries and honey so now i'm going to have to run down the line of looking at what placeable is in that's okay So here is the generic. Yeah, that's the one we're looking for. And that's milk, honey, egg, strawberry, wool, tomato, lettuce. So you guys got it right there. That flat out. So I mean, it's not even supposed to accept wheat. And I don't know why the game would say that it. Oh, it actually doesn't. It just says the hammer mill. Feed store hammer mill. So that's the one I need to check. That was my bad, guys. So swing back around and look at the triggers, which we might be best bet is to go into GE and actually open up that feed store hammer mill. 
but yeah, I'm going to cheat and go that route. So let's see if I can't just find it quick. All right, right here it is. Let Giants open it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got loading, which is what we're looking for right now. So that will be fine there. I, I just, he might actually have this backwards. So with that being said, player trigger, level area, storages. There's actually two player triggers. I wonder which one he's referencing to and which one can get deleted. Double check here once. The quick and easy way. Okay, so that's seven. And that's 11, so we don't really want to mess anything up, but I'm just going to get rid of that for a second. So I don't see the issue here besides, I did comment out ear corn and dry ear corn and all that crap, thinking that that was a, another issue with the map. But it actually proved not to be. So on my version of the map, I got that taken care of on my end. And I just got to comment on them back in. I actually don't have any plans to do it. So, I mean, it's not going to give you any money. But we put the Wii in. We just jump out, go to our productions, and there's the Wii Activate. Fast forward the time. There's some mineral feed we can grab. done it with the semi but oh well here I am all right so we come over to mineral feed boom Alrighty then. Wrong button again. We're going to put wheat back in here and go off to the next cell point. The only thing I can think of is there's a mod conflict with the contracts. Oh, why you keep doing that to me? Do, I mean, do you, any of you guys run the contracts, contract scripts? I'm almost positive I picked both of them up from the in-game mod hub. And I just realized before I started the stream today that uh, I had them both in at the same time, which is probably not the best idea. 
it still doesn't explain to me why my cell points disappeared. I mean, they just disappeared off the map completely. So I'm going to have to fast forward a couple days. Easy now. Easy now. That's my sensitivity being way too high. So I'll have to actually mess with that too. Alright, so... Alright, H, um, I'll look into that here in a second about the straw at the Big Dairy. Should be pretty simple to find. I'll look through their, um... I, I actually, on my game, on my save, this save here, I have them commented out, so I can't just buy the Big Dairy and show you where it's at. I'll have to go through GE to show you because I wanted to be I wanted to have the access to be able to place a few others down. So if I got all this, give me one second here, guys. Everything's messing up. So double check that I'm at the right spot by going like this. Okay, we're straight on top of it. Start the engine before we can dump anything. Dump the wheat. Double check our cell points for wheat. Oats, barley. That's that. Should be straight into barley. I don't know. I'm really confused on what the issue is with the cell points. I guess I've, I asked many people on what they're using and what they're trying to sell and everything. My only guess is that if we look at the trigger here and that trigger is kind of low. I'd say that trigger is almost too low for a few of the um, in-game trailers and some other things, but I don't know. All right, Mark, so you're having issues with GE crashing instantly. Um, do you have your game files, Mark? So you'd open GE... And go file preferences and make sure you got it that way. The other things I could think of would be, do you have the mod unzipped? Um, let's see what a couple other things. You could go to your Giants Editor log and double check what that's saying. But, I mean, a lot of the stuff was placed through the placeable system aka dynamically loaded that's why you had so many support mods you had to download with it and really besides some static buildings you're not going to see a whole lot in GE because I mean even the cell points are loaded through the placeable systems so all we need to do is like what you guys just seen me messing with was you grab the cell point XML, you leave it routed straight to the in games I3D for the for the grain pit and everything. And then you can change the XML side around so it accepts this or this and all this crops to sell at, but now I wanna run up and see and double check that I got the well, actually, I'm going to double check the buy point up there at the Hilltop Co-op. And make sure I can buy lime and all that. So hopefully I can find the right trailer and do it. 
otherwise I'm just gonna have to get the spreader and tractor out and drive that up there slowly which I really don't want to do mark a lot a lot of the buildings are not sellable so even like a lot of the cow pastures um, I shouldn't say the cow pastures, but the cow barns, some of them are not sellable. And then some of your buildings are not sellable. And you'd have to, if you go into your construction part here, you see how you got to demolish. You could demolish things if it allows you to. Otherwise, I know there was issues with the... At the big uh, big dairy setup, there's issues with to sell that. Uh, oh, what the heck am I looking for? Trying to sell the silage bunkers, and they actually weren't able to sell the bunkers, so they tried demolishing them, and they still weren't able to demolish the bunkers then either. So therefore. I told them to comment them out on the placeable side. So if you know what you're looking for, if you know the name of it, you should be relatively easy to find and comment out just so the game doesn't even load that building in or something. That's what I was saying before is that I actually did that for a couple of the barns. And I will show you here real quick. Where'd my placeable file go? Double check that I'm on the right one. So here are the free stalls. And that's actually one of the mods that comes with it. We're looking for FS22 cow shed West B right here. Here's your cattle sheds. And here's the I3Ds of them. I think actually I clicked on a pasture. So here's one of your free stalls. Well, that's good to hear, uh, A H. How long, how many days have you ran in your save there with no issues on your cell points? I'm just trying to figure out, like, if there's a game setting or something crazy that might freak out the cell points. I'm actually trying to recreate my own problem. I think I fast forward a total of three or four days in game and all of a sudden I noticed they were all gone. So I'm going to try that again here in a second. So there's that one. We don't need that. This is the one I was looking for. So this is the way they did the feedlot, or I should say the big dairy over there. Which one of you guys were asking for it? Oh, AH. So let's go like this. And go, I think it would be under here. It is. So straw trigger. You click straw. So it's actually the very center in the front there, AH. I'll show you in a second once I get over there. So I own that. Good. button again. Come on. Connect to the dang semi already. There. Yep. I gotta turn the sensitivity down on my steering wheel. That's a big thing.
I agree with you, Mark. It is a great map, and the update will be well worth the wait. Actually, this is what I should be doing right now. Fast forward some time. And I think I do have a couple placeable door maps with sleep triggers in it, but... Hey, H Trucking, if you're still watching. So here's the freestall. And it's going to be the same with both of them. I can't show you in game the actual trigger box because I don't have these set in as actually animal pen. But you got to be towards the center. And if you see here, these are the nav meshes for the pens. So, I mean, one, two, three. So at the third one, you got the three center. And then the last two. That's where that's that one's at. Then if I come back into my other file, where'd that go? There's freestall two. So I'll let that open. Because Giants is going to be stupid about it. And I'll show you where they'd be at on the walk buildings. Oh, dang. So, I guess... I guess I don't know what the issue is everybody's having with the cell points. Because, like I said, right now, today, on this live, was the first time I tried selling anything. So, that's, that's really curious to me. Alright, so obviously that's placed below and everything. We'll come back into cows, go down to straw trigger. And on the big log building, you gotta go in there a ways. So I'm gonna say that's the gap right there that you are seeing with the nav mesh. I think that's the gap, is what I'd assume. So right then there is your straw trigger. So your best bet with the straw triggers down here, AH, is to just drive slowly with your F1 menu open, and it would show you. But I can't promise you could just come in here and drop a bale of straw down, and it would be fine. So, as long as it missed the mailbox, which way do I need to go? I need to take a lot. Actually, I just thought of something. While I'm right here, down here, I gotta test. Where the heck am I at? I gotta test this barn quick. Double check that I fixed that. Uh, was it on the no fence one? I don't think it was. Dang it. Am I at the wrong one? Nope, there's the trigger. I was in the wrong spot. Okay. Grass embankment. I didn't get it. Dang it. Uh. 
Uh, which one was that? That'd be no fence. And let me double check my mods quick. Okay, so I don't have it zipped one in. Which one is this even referencing? Medium. And then no fence to XML. This would be medium south. So let me see if I can't get this fixed real quick. Click there. What are you talking about, Willis? Everything looks fine. All right, where's the log? Reload. Grass and gravel embankment. Yeah. Glad I could help you there, AH. Um, wait, is that moving with it? Son of a bitch. Pardon my French. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so that's interesting. How do you figure? Which one are you actually moving, first of all? You are moving the slab. Why are you moving the slab? That's the issue right there then.
So you move into two thirteen one. You're not moving two thirteen one. Well, you are, but you're not moving these. Okay, so also had this one I needed to do. Cowbird medium, cowbird medium, no fence, so that would be south. I'm going to freak my computer out here between streaming and opening this many giant editors. Okay, let's go back to the map placeables. Where did I put that? Ah, found it. All oh, taking a few, uh, taking care of these static errors on a couple of JMS barns. I finally found it, so I should be able to get rid of that static error move by the time I reload the game. Then Oh come on, where is it at? Alright. While I'm here I'm gonna get those fixed too. Wrong one. So get rid of all this crap. That can go. Oh, that's the one I wanted. That's saved. So we're good there. So go back to my log and see which one is missing. So it is just missing clear and level. I know I got that one unzipped. What files it asked me for? Cowbarn medium. Oh boy. Oh yeah. I know I see that, but I mean, why not? I'm sitting here anyways, so All right, which other one we got? Stave set or er, placeable A placeables. So that would be under the actual map. Come on. Go 
Really? They had that many points in there? Holy crap. We don't need all that. So then go back to the log, see which one's that one that's complaining about. I think that was the wrong log. It was. That log. Missing. It's all the same thing, so why is it saying it twice? We don't need the indoor areas. So I can get rid of those two. Get rid of the indoor areas. Ah, oh, gotcha. Pleasant. I just want to get this all taken care of for you guys and help MB out. So that one is taken care of. Wait, maybe not. Did I really miss one in Cow Barn Medium? Uh-oh. Cow Barn Medium. I wish it would tell me a little bit more than just that. Paths is missing clear area. Okay. So let me try to figure out what sliding door it's freaking out about. Really? Pretty sure it needs to be like that, so clear. Easiest way to tell would be to open one of Giants. See how they do their doors and collisions on them. Whenever Giants decides to open back up. There it is. Alright, let's see. So, where do they got that even hidden? There's the rigid body. Doesn't make any sense though. Door trigger run one. Ah, I see. So they're animating that. And they got a collision set separate for it, like that, so you can't walk through it. Okay. Now, why would you be calling? That's why. Exit out of this one. I opened up the wrong one. Alright, I'm tired of working on that, streaming that stuff anyways. I'll just 
come back in here and oh darn we'll burn up there to the co-op and try to figure out all the buying stuff for that I'll have to honestly make a new save because this isn't gonna work out with all the money and stuff and I'm not gonna fix it either but this is the last thing MB farms told me to take a look at is the buying triggers from the actual co-op and from the guys I talked to about it doesn't seem to be too big of an issue but then again I'm on the first day of the save so maybe I should save it and carry it through a couple days And I'll take a left through town. I'll hold on to it. I'm telling you that steering wheel really messes with it. You change a little bit of the sensitivity around on it. I think I still gotta go straight here. I think. Yep. Try to get out here without even looking for traffic. I mean, that might not be a good idea, but my key bindings throw me into the start menu like that. That's really not a good idea. I think it's the second driveway for all those other triggers and this this trailer should have enough compartments that I can test them all at once I really haven't fully tested this, so this is fuel, which I should be able to get some. There's the money going. Open cover. There should be a trigger there, which there is. Getting lime. Granted, there's no lime coming out of the spout, but I'm still getting it. I really don't know what the issue is. Well, there's lime coming out of the spout. It was hidden under the trailer, so I mean. Hmm. I'll have to jump in and talk to the boys that have a MP server with it because I'm really not seeing any issues and I know one of the guys there actually has a he's actually playing with the co-op as a co-op so hmm. 
I just gotta fill up one more bay of lime. And then, uh, okay. I'm not sitting in the right spot, but one more bay of lime. Then I should have enough to at least test that mission of liming, and then we'll also double whammy it to the point of seeing if the files fix the lime issue. Okay, we're just going to do two more bays. Actually, it said fertilized, didn't it? That mission. Yep, fertilize. So, I'll be getting rid of all this line. Stop. What the heck? I gotta check the fertilizer so you guys know which one that is. So that was the buy point for the lime. Solid fertilizer, that seed tank, and liquid fertilizer. So I can test all but the liquid. And from the looks of it, That's the trigger for the solid. Fertilizer, that is. And of course, I run into the wall. And I'm under it, or actually in the trigger, and I see that there's another trigger here that we'd have to empty it. Nothing popping up. So the, I don't know, it holds, power tool says it holds it. Alright, so... Like I said, I haven't even been up here much to look. Um, actually, let's go back. I gotta get rid of that. Okay, so that's the issue. And I messed that up. I did. This should be one more issue that error that we get rid of then. Let me go double check that I'm on the right thing here. Because it's different.
Okay, so that needs to go back to static because that's for the trigger. And then you're moving that part, so that part needs to be kinetic. And then I'm going to look into the fertilizer plant here real quick on the XML and GE side of it to see where everything is. All right. Save this one. Close. Oh, yeah. Get rid of this, too. Went too far. All right, so now I'll go back into here. Yeah, sure, why not? And double check the placeables. Um, this will be an easy way to tell me. Okay. So that one is not unzipped yet. What was the name of it again? FS22 Tanks. All right. Now that's cute. So let's see. Let's see the liquid herbicide fertilizer. And you are looking at. Ooh, it's under file name. Come on, where's the PNG thingy? It's always annoying, but it's when I know it's fully loaded. Fill trigger. Okay, so where's their positioning on the placeable side of it? And let's go back into the semi to get a better view of it all. The heck's that trigger back there then? Because I know this is... Let's scale to 1 to 1. Okay. And there's that little box trigger. Double check the XML again. Oh yeah, I already got that open in here.
Okay, that's interesting. Because where's that actually at for the fill triggers then? Because it's not wrote in here right. So it says trigger node four one. Once nope four one. So we just need to make that right here is the XML error for this. No, that would be the loading side. Yeah, so that loading side's coming out, I think. If I remember correctly. Kind of made it backwards in my mind. Because the unloading would be you dumping the fertilizer into it. Because see, here's the storage and the fill types, and then the unload trigger fill types. Loading trigger fill types. Yeah, because four. See, that's the strange part is that. Uh, Where's that? Actually at. That'd be right under that. And in game. Okay. So when it's loading it, this is way too high. But then again. Where's the actual info trigger at then? It'd be way down there too. I think I got it fixed with the three. Because this is out. I should just remake a different one quick. Probably be way easier. Uh, let me go into the game files, placeables. Oh god. I just better look at it in game before I try to go that route. Figure out the actual name of it. It would be building silos. In game, base game stuff, they should. Okay. Nothing comes up in the log. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. that's why. Da, 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 da. So that's the fertilizer refill tank placed by me from that. Oh, interesting.
which one's that? Uh, multi fruit buying station. here with these buying stations. So the loading trigger because you don't have any sell points with it or unload points. So it's actually the load trigger. Right here exactly what it is so if we come back to this other one actually I need to look in here quick loading trigger okay so I am right the loading trigger needs to be three I just can't figure out why they switched that around. They changed it so that should be saved there. Then honestly while I'm here, I probably need to go uh, that open it wrong thing. Same thing. I don't know why they left the storage and stuff in. But I'll talk to him about it. I'm just going to double check the herbicide and liquid fertilizer stuff real quick. See what they did to the seed reel refill too. Oh, Discord's going to pop up here in a second. Forgot about that. It'll be gone. It always pops up on this screen while I open it on the other. No, I totally freaked out my uh, computer. I, I don't know why it's not opening those other two. Oh, there they are. Whenever it decides to work, lovely giant, because then go like this, save it once. Oh, wow. Same thing. Why'd you move the fill trigger? And this is for the seeds. Let's 
Same thing. I can't. Re I don't get it. Why would you move it? Because hmm. I'm sure this one's the same way then. So this one is not, then that would be the herbicide. So this needs to be two, three. Seed. going to check that seed refill point real quick. What? Oh, that's, yeah, that's the one I placed. That's why it's there. But I'm going to check this seed refill point here real quick just to double check that it was um, messed up. If it was, then when I reload into the save, it should be fine. Because this little trigger should be the player refill button. Not hitting anything here. Yep. So it doesn't know where its actual trigger is. Oh, come on. When I got the trigger shown, it really eats at my uh, frames per second. I'm going to reload the game here and hopefully have that stuff fixed. And also with that being said, I guess I need to fix my steering wheel because it just self-centered. Obviously the game's not working. Fertilizer was named or changed to. All right. And then one last check at the log to finish going through that stuff. I think I still gotta get get all of them uh unpacked or unzipped I should say. Leveling and clear areas also
Did I rename that one? I must have. Huh. They didn't do it for a lot of them. Wow. Alright, I'll do that off the stream. I'm sure you guys don't want to watch that. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that error on the Dodge pickup that I bought. And then that's all the course play stuff. Okay, that's the Walmart. I know which one that is. And then All right. So at least now I'm going to just start the game and see if it works again, but I also got to fix my settings. As I start the game and go into it from the very beginning. Double check the stuff and Come on. I guess I got too many mods in there. Switch you guys back to game capture, so give it a bit here. I know it's black screen. I probably should have waited, but... Come on, Streamlabs. You can hear it, but there it is. Now, let me try to figure out that start button issue first because it won't let me do it while I was in game. What the heck? You're saying it can't be used, but yet there it is. Whatever. That's annoying. So... Why is that sensitivity? That's sensitivity now? No, that would be dead zone. That's annoying. I'll fly that. There's one other one in here that I needed to go switch to. Force feedback. There's like no force feedback at all. Well, that's annoying. Uh, 
Um, I'll be right back to that. I'm going to go to my Thrustmaster deal and turn it up just a smidge. Speed back off. Apply. Make sure my screen's still right. Almost been streaming for three hours. <laughs> I think I'm just going to do a couple quick tests here and probably then call it for the stream, anyways. Actually, I need to look at what the weather's doing around here. Come on, game. Oh, interesting age. Um, you use the TMR mixers and uh, the straw blower. I'll get back out once the game loads fully and uh, double check. Well, actually, what did I call them again? Which ones? Cow shed, right? Oh, that would be why. There's no capacity for anything. What? Uh, give me a second. I'll switch you back here. H. So I got the XML out for that feedlot down there. Three stalls, too. You got everything in here, but here's your capacity to set at zero for everything. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to run down the placeable sides. Actually, AH, when you buy that land... And it tells you, uh, you have cows in this pen. What is the name? Is it Freestall Design 1? 
or tree stall design too. I don't know where else it would be named. I'm just wondering so that way I don't have to back it back out of the game and reload it with these in and everything. Because, I mean, it should be running off of this name right here. That is interesting. So you're not going to get any milk, any liquid manure, straw, or solid manure. Hmm. Oh, get out of here. I hit the wrong button and it's going to open up another one. Now I just ruined everything. Because I'm not even going to be able to look at my uh, vlog now. Put out of that one. Go back to my log once. I gotta look at to see what that error was. I couldn't read it really in there. And that didn't even reload. Harvest mission has no food types. Okay. I think I just figured out the missions issue so give me a second here guys I gotta while that's right there I gotta go see Um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't done the missions XML yet. So that's really, uh, something new to me here. So, I mean, yeah, H, it's, you got to go into the XML like I did and have all the 
storages, you got to turn them up to something besides zero because it's not going to hold any straw because it's set at zero. If you turn it up to 100, it'll hold uh, 100 liters of straw then. If you turn it up to a million, it'll hold a million liters of straw then. So that was a issue with their um with their writing on the side and I don't think they tested those barns because really they put them in there knowing that that's more of a breeding area. They weren't expecting anybody to really play on it. Oh, sh shoot. I think I know where that is at. Fruit types. No, I don't know. I don't know where to grab that missions error. Now I can't see it because I accidentally opened the second game. Dang. Hmm. It has no fruit type, but you can see field 46 um, sorghum. Yeah, AH, though, uh, if you are not familiar with how to do it, you'll have to wait for the update, but that was the, mm, where was I at on that? That's these, freestyle design. Right here. You gotta change the capacity for the fill types in the storage. Then you'll get something. I just gotta figure out this missions issue now. Where the heck does it even call for in missions XML is the thing? That's what has me mind boggled. Just missions vehicles. The only other spot I can think is fruit types. You use for your field job. Because my guess is that sorghum is not ready to be harvested yet.
so would that be the issue? I gotta actually have to go and try this mission now. Because this is the other one. Field 93. Now that wasn't it. Field 104 of oats. Okay. You want it taken to the corn dryer? Wait, what? Why is that got the... Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to see what I can come up with. I uh, better get the header. Trailer. Uh, a H. So it is actually one of the mods that was required to have for the map. And let me double check. It is FS22 underscore cowshed underscore Westby. When you come into Westby, you'll see the freestall 1 XML and freestall 2 XML. And I think that is it. You want to adjust the storages in both of them. Get out of here. Can't get rid of that start button, but yet you keep popping up. Oh, I did buy two of these trailers. Alright, that feels better. I actually got my steering wheel fixed now. Because I got rid of using the game's force feedback, which was like nothing. So I'm going to say they probably broke something with the update since I had force feedback from the game before. And now I got nothing. Get out of here. Come on, snap to the trailer. There it is. Hey, right, what's the best way to get to 104? It's on the other side of the interstate. Yeah, I'm going to go right up this way.
Hey, AH, if you have any issues, go ahead and message my Facebook page there, man. I'm going to be hopping off of the stream here. I've been going too long to begin with. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. It's just one of those, I'm going to keep trying to duplicate the errors that everybody says they're having and try to get them fixed for the update. But if I can't get them to do anything on my game, I don't know how I'm supposed to fix them. So if you guys do have errors, make sure you throw them in the log. We know about the level clear and indoor areas on all the placeables. We know about the static error on the barns and stuff, which I'm pretty sure I got them fixed. Um, as far as the particle system and seeing weird white squares and all that stuff, I'm pretty sure that's all fixed. I'll continue testing with spread and fertilizer here later today. Uh, now that we know the fertilizer and seed triggers are probably just a little bit off in the XML up there, that should be fixed here soon. So I'm looking for errors with the missions. If you guys can show me the error that is in the log to do with the missions. And also any errors that come up with the cell points as you guys work through a save game. Because I can't get them produ to produce anything. I mean, I'll try this one right here where it's harvest this field and then go to the hammer mill there at the feed store and dump it in. But I don't know. I'm not sure what everybody else is having issues with and the more information you can give us the better as in are you using mods on your game do you have uh the correct trailer to dump at the cell points are you in the correct spot at the cell points and then also things like what crops and um it'd be nice to know like how long you guys have been on a save too like how many hours you got actually playing the save, I should say. So that way we know if it is a first day thing or you got to be, say, 30 hours into the save before anything happens. I've seen it happen before too where it comes up as a great demand and before you know it, the game doesn't work. The save's broken because it asks for the great demand at the sell point. So... That's what I'm kind of leaning on, on why my cell points just disappeared on the map completely, is because of the great demand. Oh darn it, I went on the wrong side. But, we'll, uh, we'll keep discussing things, and keep working on a fix for the map. I'd like to see it fixed up myself also. Because I really enjoy playing this map. And I know a lot of people out there. And enjoy playing it. And by the time it gets tuned up. It'll be well worth playing. So. Thanks for helping. Thanks for talking guys. And 